Guilty on all counts, Shanda Vander Ark will now be waiting sentencing in the death of her son, Timothy Ferguson. She was accused of torturing him until his death last year. However, she wasn't even in the courtroom as her fate was decided. Count one, charging open murder involving the death of Timothy Ferguson. We find her guilty of first degree felony murder. Even though she wasn't in the courtroom for the verdict, Shanda Vander Ark was found guilty of both murder and child abuse in the death of her son, Timothy Ferguson. Prosecutors say punishments that included ice baths and a consuming hot sauce and malnourishment contributed to Timothy's death. Vander Ark did not want to come back to the courtroom because of medical distress. During closing arguments, her attorney argued Vander Ark committed manslaughter, not murder. They caused this boy's death, but they, they didn't intend to. That's simply it. We're asking that you, when you do your deliberations, that you consider that. Matt Roberts was the prosecutor for Vander Ark's trial, calling today's verdict justice for Timothy. I, I think as much as can be found, sure. I mean, the, the justice would be that Timothy is still here, and, and unfortunately we can't do that, and, and sadly a large part of what we have to do is to speak up for people who are no longer here, who can't be here. Roberts commenting on Vander Ark's absence in the courtroom Friday. Honestly, it, it, it feels sort of like a, a cowardly way out, um, but I, I'm, I'm also not going to say that if she had some type of me legitimate medical condition that kept her from coming to court, that certainly, you know, those things happen. And the judge thanking the jury for seeing disturbing images and listening to hard to swallow text messages. It uh, was not for the faint of heart, and certainly those of you who did this, uh, unfortunately, it, it's unfortunate you that you will not get those images out of your mind. Uh, I won't, um, but somebody had to do it and I'm glad that you uh, were willing to do that. Vander Ark's sentencing is scheduled for late next month. Her son Paul has a court hearing next week to decide if he will have a trial or plead to first-degree child abuse. He cooperated with prosecutors in Vander Ark's trial.